It had been three years. Three years of drought. Three years of hunger and poverty. England was brought to its knees. Only our walls had kept us safe from the bands of outlaws raiding towns and villages. Bishop Waleran and William Hamley forced the workers to finish their cathedral in Shiring. Many had died. The work on our own cathedral had almost come to a halt. Four weeks the storm had raged on. It was then that our cathedral cathedral gave up its last secret. And everything changed. Tom! I told you you wouldn't like the sight of this. It looks bad. But it's not the wall I'm worried about. It's good you sent the workers home during the storm. Now do us all a favor and do the same. Go home. Your children hardly get to see you. Tommy and Sally have been asking about you all morning. You'll kill yourself up here! That crack down there must have been due to the storm. If the storm works, I work. My cathedral was never designed to be this high. I know! I reinforced the walls. It cannot be the height. What else was damaged? I'd look myself, but I dare not come closer. If your mother knew I was up here at all, she'd kill me. Both of us. What? She would kill both of us! One day, people will fly, like birds, sailing on the wind, Rashid told me. Sure. Until then, stay away from the edge. The vaulting is cracked. Careful over there! If we don't find out what's causing this, then the whole East Wall will come down. The storm is making it worse. If you're right. What about Aliena? She should be on her way back from Winchester now. Oh, I hope she's all right in this. Yeah, I hope so too.
the roof looks all right. Are you all right? Climbing up here isn't as easy as it used to be. Yeah. Do you want to take a break? I'm fine. Better watch out for yourself. Wouldn't want to see the wind pushing you over the edge there. <sighs> I'm fat enough to be safe, don't worry. I'm not done here. If I make it worse, then we'll at least know what the problem is. You're probably right. <sighs> huh. It'll be easier without the sand everywhere. Right. All right. One more time. Damn! You all right? It seems I'm getting old. I know how that feels. If the vaulting were unstable, this part should have collapsed, and the wall would retract. So, the cause of our problem is not up here? No. When we erected the eastern wall 17 years ago, there was also a crack. No matter what we did, it always came back. Remember? Yes. Yeah, I remember. But this is not the same wall. We rebuilt it. Still! Could the cause not have been the same in both cases? Uh, maybe. We took the stones from the same quarries, but the other walls don't have problems. We would have noticed, Jack. Uh, you're right. Hmm. The ground is the same. But it's never been that dry. We had no problem with the rest of the walls. Well, that's true. But there must be something else. The crypt! Huh. How kept the whole foundation there as it was? But it, it never had to carry this much weight before. You're right. If the cause of our problem is down there, we'll find it. You go ahead. Don't you need help? Nah, I'll manage. Just don't tell your mother. Are you sure? Go on. I know you can't wait to get down there. <laughs> Neither can you. I'll just take a quick look and wait for you. They were enraged. Bishop Henry thinks that the Pope should hear about what you wrote. I think so, too. I would be honored if he read my book. Philip, I really am worried about you. There is no need for you to worry, Jonathan. It is just a book. The problem is that the people love your sermons. And what you wrote. Even though most of them can't read. Your book is being copied in priories all over England. Is that not a good thing, if our message gives people hope? In desperate times, hope can be a powerful force. That is very true. Well, I fear the bishops. They might come to believe you took that power from them. Ah, huh. do you?
Jack. Have you been atop the cathedral during the storm? Don't worry, Philip. The storm isn't as bad up there. Jonathan, did you and the others come directly from Winchester? Yes, we did. What about Aliena? She stayed a day longer for the fleece fair. She should be on her way back now. In this storm? We didn't expect it to get worse. No one did. I am sure she'll be all right. I need to go. I think I know why the East Wall is unstable. Yes? Why is that? I'm not sure, but I, I think the answer lies down in the crypt. I should hurry before it's too late. Jonathan is probably right. Aliena will be fine. Still, I'd feel better if she was here with us. I think I know what caused the problems we have with the East Wall. Wonderful. You know, I just realized that the crack in the wall reminds me of the one that the old cathedral had. The one that burned down? Yes. I only noticed it when I visited after Prior James died. It wasn't there before then? No. I remember that I thought the crack looked like a finger pointing at the sinners of Kingsbridge. A grim thought. <laughs> I was not happy with the state of Kingsbridge back then. I admit that. That's not the way to the crypt. Philip is right. It, it does look like a finger, pointing right at the crypt. I better wait for Tom. I know he doesn't want to miss anything. Now it's down here, too. The first cracks are showing. That means we were right. The cause of the instability must be down here. The ground. Could be. The drought could have made it worse. We'll find out. Rashid was right. People love to believe in miracles. The reason most people come to Kingsbridge now is for Philip's sermons. He tells them what they need to hear. He gives them hope. Hmm. That definitely wasn't here before. It wasn't. If there's dry sand behind there, we know it's the ground. Just be careful when you work on that wall. If it's the ground and the foundation, the whole wall could cave in. Here we go! But... But what? I think I can feel a draft. What? One more time.
Jack, watch out! It's all right. What is it? Hmm. Dear God. These stones, they, they've been removed before. The mortar is missing on most of them. Whoever put them back just added some mortar on top of the stones. To hide the fact that they were removed. The tile at the bottom was completely loose. What does that mean? I think it was an entrance. An entrance? To where? That's what we'll find out. Careful now. You've got the whole east wall on top of you. Uh, Jack? Jack? I'm all right. I just hit my head. It's dark in here. There's a whole room here. A, a chamber. What's that? I'll get a torch. Philip, I'll get it. You stay here. Is that a, a coffin? Oh, there's sand everywhere. Uh-huh. It's a, a bed. What? There's a bed in here. What? Jonathan, we need that torch. It's... It's made of leather. It's... oh, it's a whip. What is that doing here? That's not wood. It's metal. Gold, even. I have the torch. All right, come in here. Should be safe. Yes. Did you know about this place? No. No, I did not. I have seen this chalice before, when I was very young. It's the chalice of the Eucharist from Kingsbridge Cathedral. Cuthbert told me about it. They said it was stolen. And melted down, I know. Mother told me. They also said it was my father who did it. Did they? So he's innocent then? He must be. And whoever hid the chalice is responsible for his death. They hanged him in Shiring for stealing this chalice. But it was here all along. That scourge, the whip. It belonged to Prior James. I was afraid of it when I first visited Kingsbridge with Francis and Abbot Peter. Even the look of it scared me. James, maybe it was him. I think I saw him during the night of the fire in the cathedral. When the old cathedral burned down, there was a man in the fire. His shoulders were bloody, as if he had chastised himself. It is you, by God and the devil. He told me that he had sinned, that he had done something to me, perhaps because I looked like my father. So he confessed for framing your father while well, he hid the cup here. But it couldn't have been James you saw. James died weeks before the fire. Did he? You said they never found his body. Maybe he hid down here. Maybe that's why the bed's here. Wait. Jack. 
You were in the burning cathedral. What were you doing there? I... And then I told Philip what I had done. He just looked at me. And didn't say anything. 